Hi, my name is John Wynn, reporter from Johnny Benny Campus News. Here at the 12th annual Eugene J. McCarthy Lecture Reception with the guest of honor, St. John's alumni, and former Chief of Staff to President Barack Obama, Dennis McDonough. Dennis, what has changed from your time as a student from St. Ben's and St. John's to now? What has changed? Wow, well, a lot. First of all, everybody has iPhones. There's computers everywhere. There's internet. There's email. I remember a long time ago I sent uh, one email over in the library. <laughs> Um, and I sent it actually to myself. That was 1992, so it's a long time ago. Um, I'll tell you what hasn't changed though. Uh, it's a very vibrant, remarkable student body. It's really a group of engaged faculty and staff. Um, and uh, it's a place that I get great comfort when I come back to, and it feels really good to be back. I'll tell you one other thing that is a big change is it's a much more diverse place, frankly, than it was when I was here. And I'm really happy to see that. Um, I said to a class today that, uh, you know, the Supreme Court found in 2005 that diversity is, has a value all its own. And that's true. And uh, the fact that St. John's is becoming more diverse, uh, St. John's, St. Ben's, that's going to be a good thing too. From your time as Chief of Staff, what was one of the most important learning moments from the White House? Oh boy, there are a lot of learning moments in the White House. Um, look, the fundamental thing is that uh, when you're a Chief of Staff and you're managing people, uh, you're a good manager if uh, the people you're managing think you care about them. And the best way to get people to think you care about them is to care about them. And so those are all things I learned here from John Gallardi from our professors, from fellow Johnnies and Bennies, that you should care about your people, that they're, we're all people made in the image of God, we're deserving of dignity and respect as a result thereof. Uh, and that influenced my work uh, in the White House and elsewhere. Um, how did you work your way to Chief of Staff, and for so long, too? Well, I got really lucky, basically. Uh, I tricked the president to hire me. <laughs> um, you, know, you know, look, the, being Chief of Staff, um, you don't apply to be chief of staff. That job comes to find you. And the president raised it with me in uh, January 2013. Uh, we talked about the job. I talked about the uh, kind of chief of staff I would be. Not that I'd be a policy advisor, but rather that I'd be somebody that would run his team. That would ensure that when he made a decision, he'd have the information he needed. That he'd have a process whereby everybody who had an equity in the decision was heard that was transparent and fair. Um, that's what I promised and I think that's what I delivered. Now, what kind of opportunities did you take at St. John's that helped prepare you for life beyond college? Well, that's good. One, well, one is um, I developed friendships here that last till today. Um, my friends from St. John's and St. Ben's uh, continue to be my best friends. They're people I seek out for advice, uh, whether that's parenting advice, professional advice, being a husband advice, uh, or just being friends and finding support. Uh, so that's one, is develop your friendship network. Two is, look, playing for John Gallardi was a great thing for me. Great opportunity to develop not only friendships with my teammates, but also learn lessons from John. Uh, third is to tap into this network of Johnnies and Bennies around the world. One, in fact, introduced me. He's here tonight. In fact, he's right over here. He introduced me to my wife. I wouldn't have met my wife and had my family without him. Uh, but uh, that network is vibrant and people are committed to one another. Uh, and I hope that today's Johnny's and Benny's go out and tap into that network. And then third is to just learn how to learn. You're not learning here things that specifically you'll apply to on the job, but you're learning uh, how to get up to speed on something new, how to uh, ask tough questions, how to find new sources of information, and how to prepare yourself uh, for a dynamic economy that's going to be changing. And so those are a couple of lessons from St. John's. Well, thank you so much, Dennis. Um, this is John Wynn, Johnny Benny Campus News. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you. <laughs>